The word haters comes from a Will Smith song. This is something good. Success will bring you haters. We have to come and differentiate the reasons why these uh, individuals are coming to our life. Those are the exact words of this person on my comment. How miserable is your life? You have to stop your whole entire life and actually bring somebody down. So my further definition to this is that Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here once again, the 200% Life Podcast. Cheers, my friends. I have my scotch in hand. It is about 7 o'clock my time. I don't know what time you're listening. It might be 5 a.m., but we're going to have a great topic today. So the topic of today is... Haters! Let's get to it. All right, so haters, haters. Why are people have this topic because it is a hot topic i consider haters in the adult world as bullying like adult bullying and i'm going to break it down for you today because you know what if you have somebody in life right now that you have encountered some type of success you have gotten into it and you know what we have to dissect this a little because we want to know why do people hate on you when you're successful? Why do people hate on you when you actually achieve a level in your life? There should be like more people being behind and supporting you and, and cheering on you, right? But then they come as a two or three trolls and just start like hating on you, okay? And we're going to break that down because we want to understand this, okay? So if you ever wonder about this, I'm going to break this down because we experience this on a daily basis, okay? So let's break down the definition of a hater. It is someone who discredits, devalues, or downplays any improvement in anybody's life, okay? They see you succeed, they're hating. They see you a next to a next level, they're hating. They see that you have got a new car, they hate. That new house, they hate, right? They find something, like a Debbie Downer, find something wrong with everything that you do, okay? So, aside from that, which, by the way, a little history for you. The word haters comes from a Will Smith song. I don't forgot the name of it, but I think it was getting jig with it. But let's look it up, Google it. But I think Will Smith panned that term, and then everybody just took off with it, all right? And ironically now, Will Smith <laughs> has a ton of haters due to the last couple of weeks here. But the word hate in the dictionary comes from, uh, this is the definition, right? Is the intense or passionate dislike of something or someone. So again, the passion, because in every single emotion that we have, there's passion to it. So hate is a passion that people have against a certain thing, a certain someone, okay? All right? For me, I don't like to use the word hate because I think hate is a very strong word, in this, and especially in this world, okay? We're all about love and compassion and humbleness, but that is what it is, okay? But the reason that people feel this way, and this is very interesting, there was a study on it, is because the, the being hateful or having hate stems from these three words, fear, insecurity, and mistrust. So when someone is hating on you, they're either fearing something, they are um, uh, insecure about something, or they are in not trusting in something, which is very interesting to understand because it is almost like a second reflex on somebody's character, okay? So that is why people do that. So we're going to break this into the business world, into the successful world, to all my hustlers, professionals, young professionals. If you're up and coming, this is going to happen to you. And I want you to understand that this is not a bad thing. This is actually something good. And I'm going to get into that in just, in just a little bit, okay? All right? This is the retraction or this is the, the, the result of success. Success will bring you Haters. Let me repeat that one more time for the people in the back. Success equals or will bring haters in your life. Okay? So, again, this is something good. Don't ever think as a hater coming into your life or into your social media or into your uh, feed or into your comments or into, you know, um, uh, anywhere you, you realm as a bad thing. That means you're getting somewhere there. Okay? As I was Coming up and coming here has been about 16 years into, um, actually I take that back, 16 years into real estate, but 
I was got into my own business at 21 years old. I'm 40 years old. So we're talking about 19 years. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, 19 years of business entrepreneurship experiences. And I will tell you, as soon as I stepped into business, um, it started. Okay. A lot of people will support you, your family, your your spouse, uh, your peers. But then there's going to be that one or two uh, individuals that don't. Okay. And um, as technology evolved, because I was talking about 20, I was 21 years old. It was the year 2000 and. Uh, three, uh, the year I got married, actually, 2000, 2003, there was not much technology out there. There was no really social media. There was none of that, right? Um, social media to us was AOL for my, <laughs> all right? we used to, you know, uh, do the little dial up and go into the chat rooms. And there was hate in those chat rooms as well, by the way. But people didn't know who you were. You're very, very anonymous. When the social media and now that people have so much easier reach to you came about, in the mid 2000s, right? You know, with uh, MySpace, who remembers MySpace and High Five, and you had Facebook up and coming, and then the history goes on, right? Twitter, now you got TikTok, now you got Snapchat, uh, you have LinkedIn, all this stuff. Now, when it comes to that, the attention that you get from being in those platforms is insane. By you just hitting and creating one account, you have access to the whole entire world of people that have social media. We're talking about millions upon millions of people who can have, with two or three clicks, find you. Find your name and see who you are. And forget about geotagging and hashtags and everything. If you're hashtagging certain things, they're going to find you even if they don't want to find you. They're going to find you in the discovery pages. Okay, so you're opening up your life now, right? And if you're in business, and I teach this all the time, your personal brand in business is very important. You have to have a presence in social media to be able to succeed in this technology world, right? For most of the, of the things that you can have faster reach and expansion. So once you open up yourself, people can find you with two, three clicks, right? If they've even heard of you, they'll type in your name and get in there, right? So as I was evolving into business, this was something that was coming across to me. So now where I'm, you know, starting my first business, which is, by the way, cell phones, if you heard the first episode, and now coming into real estate in the years 2005, 2006, then with that... Uh, I was able to now, uh, and by the way, real estate is a very personal business. That's why we have our business cards, our, our pictures in our business cards. We have our face everywhere because people have to connect with us. And that goes with a lot of businesses. But as people, uh, as you get out there to people and they start connecting with you, obviously you're portraying yourself and you have a characteristic, but there's some people that are not going to like you. I mean, it is, right? Um, but as I was getting more into business and now into real estate, people knew who I was, et cetera, that's when I started experiencing that, okay? People started making comments. People started doing things, okay? So, and at first I said, whoa, what am I doing wrong? Is there something wrong with me? You know, I would, you know, take it to heart, et cetera. But again, success will bring you haters, Success will bring you the haters because you're actually attracting people to you, all right, in business, in life, everything, okay? So the interesting part about what I'm, well, as I was experiencing in my young, tender life of being a business owner, right? Cue the music, maybe? I don't know. All right. So um, we encountered people now coming to us, you know, that we didn't know. And with this technology, brand new technology of social media, people were, we were attracting people that we did not know. They met us through an online platform and, or mobile, online internet, whatever you want to call it. And now we, they knew who we were, but we didn't know who, uh, who they were. And so we had access to meeting many upon many people out there that could become potential clients, Okay. Now, you fast forward that to the mid-2010s, 2015, 17, as Facebook advertising, uh, which started, by the way, in 20, I think, 13 or 14. And now we're spending money to not only having people find us, but to get in front of as many eyes as we can and getting as many impressions as we can. And to my marketers out there who have a business that are marketing yourself out there and everywhere, so, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, any type of social media, you're actually getting in front of people that you want to get in front of but obviously you're getting a lot of attention okay so again guys this is a positive thing all right so i always say that um 
I want 100 more haters because I am doing something right. I am putting into myself into a platform for people to come in. For God's sakes, we put this podcast out. Maybe this is this is the third episode. This is what podcast came out about a few weeks ago. And automatically, I talked about it in the last episode, we had a, a quote-unquote hater just started commenting on our on our on one of our platforms. And again, it is because there's a tension out there. And to be honest with you, I want them to comment because it's helping me. I have more engagement in my, in my platforms, right? I, I'm coming to some engagement for them to actually comment and share whatever it is. So it's actually a good thing, all right? So this is where we have to come and differentiate the reasons why these uh, individuals are coming to our life, okay? Now, let's talk about this these haters, right? Because haters are gonna hate, all right. I've been in social media for a very, very long time now, and I've been, I've been called, I don't know, Jimmy Neutron because of the hair. I think they say, "Oh, you look like Jimmy Neutron, uh, Johnny Bravo." I'm in the Hispanic Johnny Bravo, by the way. Um, people have hated on the way I dress. I'm always in a suit. I had some, some individual put into uh, one of my ads that I was talking. I had a suit on with my pockets where it says, oh, you're such a scammer, you know, with your fancy suit. I will never buy anything from you. Why should I spend money so you can live your lifestyle? Which made no, absolutely no sense. And that, and that stupid, and that stupid handkerchief too, I hate it. Those were the exact words of this person on my comments. So again, this is something that, again, is a passionate, delicate thing. So when it comes to haters, is you kind of sit back and I think is how miserable is your life that you have to stop everything and take, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, a minute and a half. And some haters are right in encyclopedia. I've seen them. Uh, they'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes to write this long comment on your, so one of your posts. How miserable is your life? You have to stop your whole entire life and actually bring somebody down, okay? One of my biggest pet peeves is somebody talking down on somebody with no real, you know, reason, right? And even if they have a reason, talking down on somebody is, is not even, a toler shouldn't be tolerated anywhere, right? Whether it be a boss, a parent, a teacher, just telling somebody you're not worth anything or you are not, uh, you're not capable of anything or you are, you won't get anywhere in life, that is a killer and that attitude has to be stopped. And if you know somebody that's doing this, uh, you know, be the person that stops them. And if you're not the person on the other end, if you see somebody doing that to somebody, else you should stop them on the spot because that is uh destructive uh talk that is destructive actions that somebody has right but let's go back to that right because again people talk down on people or stop their life to comment on somebody i've seen people stop and said oh that shirt looks horrible on you uh somebody told my wife that you know, is this a man or a woman? <laughs> you know what I mean? There's many, many things that people write that don't make any sense, okay? But let's dissect that for one second. Why do people hate? Why are haters the way they are? So I'm going to tell you something that you should know. If you're in this position right now that you don't understand why people are doing this and you feel bad at it, the ironic part of a hater is that it has nothing to do with you. Haters and their actions is all about them. It is what they have inside that's bringing that. Because I could be talking and saying a message or, or saying a quote or, or put a video up, and two people are going to have an opinion on it. You have somebody that said, you just changed my life. You just said something that I need to hear. And then you have the hater that tells you that, you know, your hair, what's wrong with your hair, right? So it's not about what is being portrayed out there is how they take it so the hate and the haters is not about you there's nothing wrong with you if you're doing something positive in this world if you're saying something positive to uplift some people up if you're inspiring others if you are a business owner and you're are leading with a purpose with your employees and you're leading with a purpose with your team is nothing to do with you it is all to do with them and the further part to that is haters are a reflection of the failures and the um, disappointments that they had in their life. They are sad and they are disappointed in everything they did not achieve, that that's their automatic reflex. 
Okay? And it's not that they want to be that way. It's just that life just threw them down and, and, and brought them down, and they have never been able to recover from that. So it inspired this passion in them that they cannot overcome. Okay? And the more that they see people do things that they wish they had, the more that they're going to pull out. Okay? Pull that out of themselves into the world. And that is, again, very ironic and interesting because people who are hated on, right? If somebody tells you something, you take it very, very personal. And you say, what well, is there something wrong with me? Is there something wrong with my hair? Is there something wrong with my weight? Is there something wrong with the way I dress? Is there something wrong with what I'm saying? You know? Um, my wife's podcast, by the way, uh, I got an accent, so what? Came from that, not but direct hate, because people told her, you're Cuban and you speak with an accent. And instead of putting it into a negative thing, we brought it as a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing saying that, yes, I do have an accent and I'm proud of it. I speak two languages, and though I might not speak it in a perfect sense, the, uh, the language of English, I am bringing it and I'm, I'm proud of to have be exotic and beautiful that way. Okay? So that is how you turn things around. And every single time that somebody brings that to you, uh, to, to your life, it's nothing to do with you. It's all to do with them. Okay? So... Again, it is a reflection of themselves and the failures and their disappointments in their life, okay? And let me tell you something else, which I think is going to surprise you very well, okay? Most haters are behind keyboards or a phone, all right? How many times this happens, but not so often, will somebody actually come to you in your face and tell you, what the hell is wrong with your hair? Or, hey, listen, you are... Um, overweight, right? Like, when does that happen? That, that very happens. I mean, maybe in a very small portion, somebody would do that. But very few times, they're going to tell you that in their face. They are behind a screen, behind a phone, behind a computer. And guess what? Some of them have anonymous names that you can't even recognize because they're hiding. They're behind a place that they can't get out of. They're hiding because they have the guts to tell you anybody on this on the screen and on the keyboard, but they don't have the guts to do that in somebody's face. I guarantee you, you take 10 haters that have put comments on there, they will never say that to somebody's face because they know better, all right? So they do that because there are no consequences. It is very simple to just jump on into a platform, which is mainly what's happening right now, right? Into social media because we have millions upon billions of people transacting, which is what I call, right? Videos, messages, sounds, whatever you want to call it. And they're commenting. Um, and they're commenting and they're, they're just bringing the things out, right? So, But they will never say this in somebody's face. So they're in hiding. And you know what, one more thing that I want to tell you? Not only are they hiding and they said a comment to you, they are probably watching every single video that you do, every single picture that you post, every single podcast that you record, okay? And they're not saying anything. They might say it one time, but they're secretly, secretly watching, listening, um, every single move that you make, okay? So my further definition to this is that haters are fans in denial. Seeker fans to be able to come into this world, but they are secretly want to be like you. So with that said, okay, do not let them get to you. Ignore, 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 because they are actually fueling your success, okay? I want 100 more haters because I'm going to, they're fueling my success, Okay, I want to prove to them that there is a time and a place for everybody to have success. And I wish them the success that I have and even more because that's what brings to this world. I, I told uh, my producers and my wife, I want to put a hater wall. I have so many, I actually save them on my phone. I, I save every single hate comment on my phone because I'm creating a wall where I want to put on there and I want to say thank you to all the haters in this world for bringing the best, right? So you that's listening to me, I want you to become immune to this. And I want you to actually put something in a fuel behind you to understand that you are doing something great. And 
a hater for you should actually be something that you are actually celebrating because you know that you're doing something right. The more you get out there, the more that you are attracting people, the more that you're bringing success to this world, the more that you will have that, okay, in your life. Talk about celebrities. Jeez, they have haters left and right. Go into the Twitter account. Sometimes they have to turn on their comments, right? But they're in the spotlight. Okay, in a different way, obviously. That's a whole entire different type of hate, by the way. You got soccers and all this stuff happening also, but that's a whole different conversation. But it is a portion of success, okay? And the answer to all of that, okay, is being humble, giving love, giving compassion to this whole entire world. And that is what I want you to take today from today's podcast is that is... It's success will come, you will have haters. But we will overcome the hate in this world with love, compassion, and humbleness. Guys, I'll leave you with that. Cheers to you. 200% live. See you next time. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the 200% Live. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe on any of the platforms that you listen to. And haters, leave your comments. Much love to you. See you in the next one.